What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to start working with middlewares using the Shin HTTP framework. We are going to add three middlewares to our API in order to support authentication, logging, and debugging. And if you want to learn data science with Python, there is a link in the description below. And you can also download the Golan cheat sheet. There is a link in the description below the video as well. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, this is the API that we've been working on using Shin. We created a couple of endpoints. The first endpoint is using the get HTTP verb to get the list of existing videos. And we also created an endpoint to handle the post HTTP request on this URI. And these endpoints are using the controller. Let's take this as an example. And the controller is using a service to delegate the operation. In this case, for the final function, we are calling the final function from the service. And within the service, the final function is returning the slice of videos. That is this one that we declared here within this struct. Okay, let's go back. If we go here again, we, we wanna see that we are using these two middlewares that are actually global middlewares, logger and recovery. If we go back here, what we can do is we can create a new Sheen instance and we can declare these two middlewares like this, Sheen that recovery. And that's the first global middleware that was created by default. And we can also do server that use Sheen that logger. And doing this, we are doing the same that if we use the default function here that includes these two middlewares. Or we can also do like this, server use, recovery, and lower. And let's change this by new. Okay, first let's say that I want to change the lower and I want to customize the format of the log. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a custom middleware. I'm going to create a new folder. Let's call it middlewares. And I'm going to create a new file that is going to be logger.go. And here the package is going to be middlewares. And I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it logger. And this function is going to return shin that under func. This is the type that is expected for all the middlewares. And here we're going to use a special function provided by shin. Here, return shin that logger with formatter, this one, where we can pass another function to customize the format of the log. Okay, if we go here, we're gonna see that logger with formatter is going to create an instance of a logger middleware with the specified log format function. That is, is this one with type log formatter, that is actually a function. Let's go back here. And this log formatter is the parameter that we need to pass. Okay, I'm going to close this. So this is going to be an anonymous function that is going to receive a param. And the type is shim that log formatter params, like this. And this function returns a string. And here we need to return fmt dot sprint f and here we need to pass two parameters the first one is going to be the format of the log and then we want to use the param here this parameter that is going to include different attributes from the request the client ip the method the path the status code the latency and some others so here i'm going to add the attributes from the request that i want to include as part of the log so param dot client IP is going to be one of them. Then we can include param dot timestamp, and we can apply a format to that timestamp. I'm going to use this one. Okay, and we can add the method get of boot etc. The path that is going to be the URI param dot path, the status code, param that status code, and param that 
latency. Okay, these are part of the request and some of those are part of the response, like these two. Okay, this first element is gonna be the client IP. I'm going to include it like that. And the second one, I'm going to include it here in brackets. That is gonna be the timestamp. Then I'm going to include the method, the HTTP method here. The next one is gonna be the path. The next one is gonna be in the set scope. I'm going to include it as a decimal. And then the latency. And I'm going to add a new line. Okay, let's go back and let's add that middleware. So it's gonna be middleware, middlewares, sorry, middlewares, that lower. And let's run this, go run server, let go. Now let's go to Postman and let's run a couple of requests. So the first string here, this is the local IP address. This is localhost. Here is the date. This is the HTTP verb. This is the URI. This is the status code. And this is the latency in milliseconds. So basically this is the format. And here is how it looks when we actually run and we apply that middleware. So if I go back and I execute the post request, we're gonna see that we have a new line. The only difference here is the post HTTP verb that is included here. We can also change the output of the log. So we can use either a standard output or we can use a file. So let's create a function, func setup log output. And if you want to use a file, we can create a file using the OS library, os.create. And we pass here the name of the file, shin.log, for example. And this is going to return either a pointer to a file or an error. We are going to ignore the error for now. And here we can assign a default writer to shin, shin.default writer. And we can assign a multi writer, multi writer. And we can pass either the file or the file and the standard output. Or is that the standard output? So let's call this function from the main function here. And let's run this. And now let's run a couple of requests. If we execute the get operation, we're going to see that we get the output here. And here on the left side, we're going to see the shin.log file that is going to include that output as well. And let's run a post request. And again, we have this line here in the standard output. And we get the same output here in the file. OK, let's close this. OK, now let's start working on a new middleware. It's going to be a security middleware for authentication, actually for authorization. So this is going to be basic auth that go. The package is going to be middlewares. And I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it basic auth. This is going to return as any other middleware, machine that under func. I'm going to import shin, import. GitHub.com shin, going shin, like that. And this is going to return a middleware provided by shin, this one, basic out. And this basic out is going to receive a map. And that map is going to include the usernames that we're going to authorize as the key 
and the passwords for those users as the value of the map. So this is Shein that accounts. And let's say that we want to authorize a user with the username pragmatic and the password reviews. So if we enter here to this middleware, basic auth returns and basic HTTP authorization middleware, and it takes a map as an argument where the key is the username and the value is the password. And let's use this basic out middleware in our API. So we can use it here. Middlewares that basic out like that. And let's run the server first. Now let's run a couple of requests. And here we can see that we get a 401 unauthorized. The same here. So we need to pass the authorization username and password. So this is basic out. And here we are passing pragmatic and reviews. And if we run this now, we're gonna get that 200. And here with Postman, we can generate the code in multiple languages. We can generate it in Go, for example, like this, and we can run it. So let's do that. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to create a new file. Let's say a star a go. I'm going to copy all this. And this is the um, encoding of the username and the password. This basically you can generate this by doing, going here, for example. This is an online encoder in base 64. So this is pragmatic colon reviews. This is username colon password and you encode in base 64 and you get this string. Okay, if we run this, we're gonna see that we're gonna get the same value here. Okay, if we run this, I'm going to open a new terminal. Go run tester.go. Okay, and we get that 200 here. Let's go back. Okay, and the last middleware is going to be a middleware that is going to help us to develop our application, to debug our application, and it's called Shindamp. So I'm going to include it here. And this is github.com slash tpkeeper slash shin dump. I'm going to assign an alias here, shin dump. And we can add it here to the list of middlewares here. It's going to be shin dump that dump. And if we run this, we're going to see the output. Now, if I run a request, we're going to see that the output is going to include more information here. Okay, that's pretty much all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and remember to download the Golan Cheat Sheet. And I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.